SGC here, and we're back with Dr. Walk. I called it, I called it. The Walking Dead, Season 5, Episode 3. You know, you don't walk away from a crowd and being all sad and stuff when you don't have anything sad to be about. And lo and behold, you know, you get sad and get captured, and you screw the people that captured you over. Well, well, well. This has been a weird episode for me in terms of just the vibe. Because I think, for me, it's been a week, and it feels like time has moved in The Walking Dead with me during this week, be it like a few hours, but no, it feels like it just happened, like as in episode 3 happened right after episode 2, and it's just, man, that acting from Sasha was just kind of forced when she was all upset with Gabriel, like, where are our people, sort of thing, that whole spiel was kind of like flat for me, it didn't really have that much umph, and I was just like, ugh, cringe, cringe, as in like, ugh. But everything else was fine, I mean, in terms of the whole Gareth thing and how that panned out, I was like, okay. Though Sasha acting was just really hard for me to get through and it's just, ooh. Though it, it really brings into perspective as in like, after four seasons of things that would be dragged out and set up, we have this thing that starts in, that started existing in season four, as in the whole terminus idea, and then now in season five, it gets blown up the first episode, and season five, episode three, as in three episodes, that's done, completely done. We are done with Gareth and company. So it was kind of like, oh, that's cool. Now we can like move forward and and you know, finally look for Beth. And I do wonder what's gonna happen. I mean, with Daryl coming out of the woods all of a sudden, I swear. Episode 4 is going to take place during Episode 3 time. And I don't really like these, like, ooh, concurrent happening situation episodes. Because it just feels flat. Like, Saw. Saw 7 or 6 took place in the same time span as Saw 5. Stuff like that irks me. But beyond that, I really hope it will be an awesome, amazing, you know, Daryl and Carol episode exclusively. Just them doing their thing. And I'm thinking that they brought Beth back. I mean, who else would come back? But then again, where is Carol? Did they switch place? Like, so there's a lot of mysteries for that stuff. And I guess it's cool because it's going into a new area that's not like really explained or not even explained, sorry. It's not even in the comics. So it's kind of like, oh, there's a new surprise coming along. Um, beyond that, the episode was beyond Sasha acting and the whole stupid ninja scoped Zombie was kind of stupid. Like, I swear they need to get rid of ninja zombies, period. I complain about it all the time. You know, easy headshots, they've been getting better with that, as, as in, like, not everyone's pulling off headshots. Infinite ammo, it feels like they're addressing that, finally. But I guess that's because they're on the run now. Because, I mean, in the prison, they had infinite ammo, but not anymore. So, I, I'm okay with that now. But this ninja zombie business is still pissing me off. Because I swear, if if they did actually do something special or different this time, open him, it would have been Sasha looking down the scope, you know, being all mysterious. Oh, there's someone there, but not. And then turning, turning, and then, whoa, whoa. But actually, it's just my own people. Like, that would have been something new. Even though it's sort of a cliche thing, but it's better than, oh my goodness, a zombie is like two feet away from me. I didn't hear it at all. Like, these things snarl and graggle and blah, blah, blah. blah. When they see flesh, so how the hell did this one not speak? No, not this one, but rather two. And I just hate ninja zombies, because they're not. They just break the tension, or just authenticity of a zombie thing anyway. But you can say, hey, it's a zombie thing, give up. But really, I want it to be better. So that's why, no ninja zombies. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm pretty done with this episode. It was not as good, for sure, compared to the last weeks. And... It's too bad, too bad, but, I mean, it's still better than Season 2, but Season 2, you know, setting the bar super low. But, anyway, I look forward to this Beth thing, because I do wonder, I really wonder what happened to her, because it's so messed up that someone actually, you know, kidnapped her and totally is, like, what's going to happen? What is going to happen? That's the biggest thing. Can't wait for next week, so that's pretty much it for this Walking Dead and Talk the Walk, Season 5, Episode 3, out.